have to hold on. This is crazy. <laughs> Every film actor has a dream list in their heads or on their vision boards in their bedrooms of which director they hope to work with one day. It's a list that you work towards, you strive for, hoping that someday, at the height of your career, you'll maybe, just maybe, get to work with the best of the best. Now, that wasn't really the case for me because, I, personally, I thought it was too big of a dream to even dream, but impossibly, unbelievably, Gabriel, LaBelle, and I were both offered the chance to work with Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Much earlier than any of us ever dreamed, or not dreamed. The Fablemans is about a young man driven by his own dreams to become a filmmaker, who then must grapple with the heartbreaking discovery that his own sense of family and his mother is built on a dream that is unraveling. Sammy Fableman played with such restraint, nuance, and control by Gabe is a young man who is simultaneously creating dreams and waking up from one in his own life. It's a role that required a young actor who can listen and observe and think and feel and communicate all of that, often with only a gesture, an expression, a shift of light in his eyes. It required, in other words, a mature, a mature young actor in a young body, a young man with talent beyond his years. Gabe is all of that, and, and more his singular performance is both proof of his talent and promise of what he will achieve in the years and decades ahead. And luckily for us, uh, we'll get to watch him every step of the way. It's my great honor to present the HCA Star on the Rise Award to my friend, Gabriel Lavelle. <laughs> I looked for several things. I looked for somebody who was really much more handsome than me, and somebody that the girls would probably fall for more than they fell for me. A handsome Jewish boy, just like you. He was pretty clear that he didn't want it to be like mimicking him. You know, almost the story speaks for itself. So he he let me he let me do a lot of it on my own. You spend half the time on algebra that you algebra. spend on these movies. I hate algebra. Yeah. I want to make movies, though. And I cast somebody who had insatiable curiosity, which I know I've always possessed. How much of this really happened? All of it happened? OK, like, what were you thinking and feeling? What were your perspectives, your relationships like? And, and um, how, what, what does this story mean to you? Because you're my kid. Um, I forgive you. And, 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 and my kids mean more to me oh, than anything you. else on the earth. I because, because you. Please, please, because how am I ever going to forgive myself? I can't. Um, I, 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 I forgive you. The eggs are burning. The hardest part to cast was the part of Sammy because it forced me to ask myself this question. How well do you really know yourself? Can you stop calling it a hobby? If this was any film, it would have been a very impactful learning experience for me. But the fact that it was a Steven Spielberg film and the fact that it meant even more to him than it did myself, I'm very grateful to be a part of that. I don't know what to do anymore. You do what your heart says you have to. I cannot even imagine going through my career without having told this story. This movie for me was like a time machine in the sense of the Fablemans. It wasn't about metaphor, it was about memory. And cut! Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabriel Lavelle. Wow. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. I, uh, to the members of the Hollywood critics for thinking I should be here for having an award like this. Uh, it's really special. Um, 
things like this, it, it has me thinking like, what, what, what am I doing here? Shouldn't I be in school or something? And I mean that because three years ago when I was, um, when I was uh, graduating high school, I was auditioning um, for various uh, theater programs at universities and all that. And um, I flew to Montreal to audition for Concordia. And, but before I could, COVID shut everything down and I had to go home and I self-tape and I got in. But, y you know, y you don't want to do that online. And so I ended up doing nothing for a year and that was very um, weird. You know, I, I, I want to make movies, but I don't know if I'm ever going to get that chance. I don't know how I'm going to live my life and be a person. And suddenly um, the universe opened up and gave me an opportunity to be in a Steven Spielberg movie and um, it changed my life, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful for everything I've learned on there and um, to work with Paul and Michelle and these masters and to just, you know, be here with you guys and, 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 and to meet people whose movies really affects me and, and, and to just be here with all of you. It's really, really special. And to work as hard as you did on something um, and to be here tonight, it's really, uh, it's really amazing. And I'm really grateful. Thank you very much. Join me in welcoming HCA members Miriam Spritzer and Yang Chavez.